All the little details are there just to show and prove to you just how much I love you. He said, that's just an example of the depth of love that I have for you. That's just an example. I made those leaves so that you can enjoy those leaves to show you my love. And I said, that's, that's amazing. That, that in itself is, a, is, a, is amazing. But God said, then look down at the rock. He said, that rock, as ugly as it is, has a special meaning, a special purpose. And he said, that rock is made by me to show you the love that I have for you. It has a special purpose. It has a special meaning. The love is, that, that rock is there to, to, to show you and approve you the love that I have for you. It, it, it has a meaning. That, that meaning means, and whenever you look at that, whenever you look at that rock, you may be the only person in the world that ever looks at that rock. You may be the only person that ever sees that rock. But I made that rock just... For you, just for you, to enjoy. Just for you. That's how much I love you. That's the depth of the love that I have for you. And I said, wow, God, that's, that's, that's amazing. I may be the only person that ever looks at that rock. Ever. The only one that ever sees that. God made that rock. Just for me to pick up and enjoy at that moment. Just to show me the love that God had for me. Then he said, look down at the stream that's right by me. And I looked down at the water, and I began to look at that, in, that water, and I thought, he said, I made that water just special for you. To understand the depth of love that I have for you. He said, look into that water. What do you see? And I peered over the edge of the bank, and I looked into the water, and guess what I saw? I saw a reflection of myself. And I started there for a second. It was a little, you know, anyway. But he said, that's my snapshot, my picture of the person that I love dearly. He said, that little picture, that little snapshot, that little reflection reflects the beauty and the love of the love that I have for you. Do you understand how much I made that water? I gave you this opportunity to peer into it. I made that water to sustain, to sustain life, but also for you just to look into it at this moment and understand just how much I love you. Just how much I love you. And I was like, wow, you know, this is amazing. You know, I just I, I just never thought about it that way, Lord. You know, and, and, and then, but I said, but is that the depth of the love? He said, I want to give you one more example, Lord. And, and I began to read it in Luke. Look with me in, in Luke chapter 1, verse 39. And, and this, this is, a, is a wonderful expression of God's love. And, and then I'll conclude with what I was saying. It says in verse 39 of Luke chapter 1, And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country and hate, with hate, into the city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias, uh, and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. And she spake without with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of the salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leapt in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Now swap over to Luke chapter 2. Verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree of Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And the taxing was first made in Cyrene, who was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into their own city. And Joseph also went to Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Beth Bethlehem, because he was of the house of and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him, laid him in a manger because there was no room for him for them in the end. And she brought forth her firstborn son. God showed me in that day he said, you want to really know the depth of the love of God. And all of you
you ladies here this morning you know this more than I do. But God said, I want to show you just an example. And this example is a great, great devil of love. He said, when a mother looks at her child, looks into those eyes for the very first time, in that instant, pure love is expressed. Pure love is seen. Pure love is understood more than ever before. He said, if you want to know pure love, that's an example of the pure love that I have. Magnify that love times a million and then a million again. And then you'll begin to understand that God is love. This is pure love. This is how much I love you. This is how much I've done for you. This is what I've created for you. In the leaves, in the rocks, in all the expressions, and in that child's birth, and in the birth we see of, G of Mary and Jesus here, and it says, and she brought forth her firstborn son. And I can just imagine as Mary, the mother of Jesus, looked in Jesus' eyes for the very first time, she saw real love. She saw real love. A, a peace and a love that was that was beyond understanding and a, and a true love that had never been seen by a, a, a woman before in life and she understood the depth and true love that God had for not only her but for the world because Mother Jesus, Jesus was just born through this lady and she laid her eyes upon him for the very first time and she experienced pure love, the love of God brought into a into the, uh, upon the earth and, and to understand that and to know that we can begin to get a glimpse of just how much God loves us. And as we look at the leaves of, the, of this, we know that, uh, you know, that God, we, we know that the love of God is there for each and every one of us. And to know that when we see and we read the scripture and we understand that on this Mother's day that every mother here this morning have experienced that type of love before in their lives and understand more of the love of God than ever before. And we know that in, in that in that time, you know, we can understand just how, how beautiful it is and how wonderful it is and all of the sacrifices that are made and all of the things that are done. And we are all here as a testament to our mother. Amen? We are. Whether male or female, we're here to a testament of our mother and what they've done for us and all the sacrifices that they've done for us. You know, as I read this story in Luke chapter 2 and I began to think about Jesus' mother, I began to, to, to think just for a moment, you know, how, how wonderful it would have been to have been in Mary's shoes. How, how wonderful would that have been to be able to look at Jesus for the very first time when he was born at that moment. And then just how beautiful that is. And to think about that. But on the same level, you, many of you here this morning, have experienced that. You understand that. You know the sacrifices. How would you like to raise baby Jesus? You know, he was perfect, so he probably didn't have a spank in him, right? <laughs> that wasn't me, okay? <laughs> right on. My mother's kids this morning. I don't hear no way to do that. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, to know that, you know, to, to know that that, that type of love is, was brought into this world, was packaged in the body in the earth to be born, and was given to all mankind. God says, that's my exclamation point on how much I love each and every one of you. That's my exclamation point on showing the love of God that I have for every person that's here today. And not, no one is here by mistake. I birthed you into this world. I brought you into this world. And, and, and I did so, so so that you can understand just how much I love you as an individual. Just how much I have done for you. Just what I give to you. Just what I, how much I love you. Magnify that love times one million and understand that there is the love. You can begin to scratch the surface of just how much I love you. Just how much God loves us. And I began to stand there in awe as to God as, and, and, and began just to, to think about and, and to praise the Lord. Because if, if, you know, if I could just understand that for just a moment, that God loves me millions of times more than that, then I can understand that God is love. Amen? God is love. That's who God is. That's His nature. That's everything about all that He ever is and all that He ever will be. And, you know, I, I just, it, it just, it just sort of blows my mind to think about just how much He loves me, just how much He's done for each and every one of us. I, but on the, on the other side, I, I, I want to share this. this. I thought this was kind of interesting. It's the, mother, it's the origin of Mother's Day. 
in the 1600s, Christians celebrated uh, the mother of Jesus, Mary, on the fourth day of Lent. And then in the 1840s, Julia Ward Howe asked that mothers be, mothers be celebrated to bring peace in war times. Then, uh, uh, in 1850, Anne Marie Jarvis started a, because of her great love for her mother, she started a friendship day for all moms. And then in 19, 1908, they, they began to call it Mother's Day and paid tribute to all mothers around the world. Uh, and then and in 1919, President Woodrow Wilson, Woodrow Wilson uh, made it a national holiday, recognizing it as a national holiday, and that's what we celebrate on the second, the second week of May every year, ever since that day. And so we see that just a few people, a few people because of the love that they had for their mothers, changed the way our world works today and has give, given us an opportunity to celebrate this time and to, and, to, and to enjoy this time with mothers and just say how much we really appreciate them, how much we really love them, and how much they mean to us, each and every one of us. And you know, again, like I said earlier, we'll never know the sacrifices that were made. We'll never know the prices that were paid. We'll under, never understand. Many of us this morning, our, whether our mothers are here with us today, our mothers are, have already gone on to be with the Lord. We can know that we are an expression of that love that they gave to us. We are, at our, we are that expression of what they put into our lives, the sacrifices they made, the things that they did, things that we don't even ever remember when they cleaned our snotty noses and we didn't even know it. Whenever, whenever they cleaned out our ears and held us down and, and did those kind of things, you know, that we didn't want them to do, they did it because they loved us, amen. And whenever they did the extra little things, whenever they, they cleaned us up after we made a mess or whenever we had a boo-boo, and the best thing that would heal a boo-boo was what? Kiss for all, no, not a band aid. Kiss for mom. <laughs> and to know that because of what they did, all the little secret sacrifices that they made, and all the things that they even yet do today, if they're still present with you, all the things that they do, the things that we remember, the little small things that we remember. You know, some things we think, I'll never do that, I'll never do that, you know. But yet, whenever our children get a little bit older and, 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 and something happens to them, and we find ourselves doing the very same exact thing that <laughs> we say we've never done, right? And so we did those things, and they're just like a pre-programmed in our minds that we, we may not even notice and recognize at the time, but they come back to us, and then we understand. Where did they come from? They came because the mother just put that into our hearts and showed that type of love to us. Now we're expressing that same type of love back to our children. And it's just an amazing cycle. As long as you're alive, your mother lives through you. Amen? Your mother lives through you. And all the memories that you'll have while we're here this morning gives you a moment in time just to reflect upon just how beautiful it was, the things that you remember about your mom. And sometimes maybe some of us may have memories of our parents or mother, mother that was not very good. But yet, still, she was responsible for bringing it into, the, into this world. And, and because of what she did, whether right or wrong, or whether she did it the right way or the wrong way, she brought you into this world. You were you are not a mistake. God wants you in this world. God loves you enough to make these leaves for you. God loves you enough to make these rocks for you. God loves you enough to make the water for you so that you can see your reflection in the, in the water whenever you stand close enough to it. He loves you that much. You're not a mistake. You're not here by coincidence. God loves you puts you in this world to show you His love, to express His love through you. And it's not an excuse because you had a bad rearing or this, that, or the other happened to you whenever you were brought up. It's not an excuse for you to be a bad mother. Amen? Amen. It's, not a bad, it's not an excuse for you to say, well, okay, well, I've treated badly, so I'm just going to do some bad things too. No, I think one of the worst atrocities is for a mother to be ugly to her children whenever she shouldn't be. Amen? I think it's horrible. Because it sets a child up for failure, right? But there was this, there's this, where did you find that? Okay. I, I want to, you know, I want to share, I want to show something, something to, to everybody this morning. Because I just think it's, it, it's just the most amazing story. Now, I just want to say this right here. If you're not sitting close to a, um, if you're not sitting close to Kleenexes, get close to Kleenexes because you're going to need them just in a second. Did not toilet paper neither. <laughs> Brother Qualls toilet paper roll. Um, but this story right here sort of you know, it sort of solidifies the love and the sacrifices that the mother makes. I ain't gonna just say it. But I thought it was just so amazing. 
And I watched this video a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't think about using it until this morning. But God said, that's, that's a wonderful expression of sacrifice that only a mother can know. And I think this is just a great expression. We came out the cabin and I watched them as they ran in front of me. And they all jumped in the front seat of my Suburban. As we're slowly walking towards the car, I noticed that all at once the Suburban is in motion. As we got near the side of the car, I noticed the door was closed. And I remember them looking at me with these scared eyes. There was just no way that none of us were going to get to any time. So at the last minute, I jumped in front of it. I began to feel it pull me under the car. As it ran over me, all at once the passenger door flew open. And my father deployed the brake basically about a yard before it went over the camera. My father came up to me and he said, um, Joy, Joy, you're going to be okay. And I said, No, Dad. I said, Don't touch me. I said, I know I'm paralyzed.
touched my heart whenever I, when I saw that video. And it still touches me today. <coughs> because we have that kind of love. And God says, that's how much I love you. That's how much I love you. I put that love in their hearts. I put that much depth in their soul. I added that to them to make them special people. Because I'm going to tell you something, people. And this is just honest truth. If it were up to us men for you to be here today, we would, you wouldn't be here. I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> you would not be here. I would not go through childbirth if I had to. No, it's not. A, I know it's impossible. And thank you, Jesus, for that making that not possible. He put a special depth of love in your heart, ladies. He put a special depth of love in your soul. He made you special. He made you super special. And today we celebrate you. We tri we pay tribute to you. We pay honor to you. We pay great a great debt of gratitude to you for what you've done for each and every one of us. What you, what have you made it possible? Yes, we are the children of God. Amen. We are the children of God. But God used you just as you used Mary to birth Jesus into the world. God used your mother to birth you into this world. God used her to bring you into this life because He loves you so much. Because He He died because He sent His Son to die upon the cross for you. He shows you again how much He loves you, and He continues to show you today just how much He loves you. He continues to to show and to validate every day, over and over and over again, just how much He loves you, just how much He cares, just what He's done. And you know, whenever I read about Jesus' uh, mother, and I see it, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. She was there with him. She loved him. She was able to experience the love of God. And she gave him in return that love that God had put into her heart. So ladies, you today, we celebrate you. We, we thank you for all that you've done. We pay tribute to you for everything that you'll ever do. And it is an honor to be able to stand before you today and just say, love, ladies, you love, just as God made you love. Don't ever let the world make your heart grow cold, especially toward your children. Don't ever let the world let your heart diminish in that love. Because you have the greatest opportunity to shine the love of God to every child, to every person. You are made to love in the image of God. Amen? And I thank you. I thank you. And I think every, every person here today thanks you as we pay tribute to your mom, whether here today or going on to be with the Lord. You know, I, I, think, I think sometimes, and, and I don't know, but I think sometimes whenever someone is going on to be with the Lord, maybe there's this, there, there's this, more, there's this a special love thing because all you remember is the good. And, and the good is, is, is expanded more and more and more every day. And, 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 and it's just amazing to, to, to know that that love was, was given to us and it was shown to us and in this expression of, of that love. And, uh, you know, what we do and how we live our lives is a tribute every day to the love that was put into our hearts. And I thank God for every one of you ladies, every one of you in the world that is called. <laughs> <laughs> it must be Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, no three on the left on. Anyway, but this morning, what we want to do is we want to, we want to recognize all the ladies, all the mothers here this morning, and we want you right now, all of you ladies, please stand. <laughs> Richie, Jane, y'all sit still. <laughs> Guys, everybody still see me. Let's give these ladies a great big hand. That has a child within her. Amen. <laughs> but we would like to recognize the eldest lady this time. I know, I know, the eldest mother this time. And why did everybody sit down? It's not that obvious now. Because <laughs> we're not obvious for everybody else. <laughs> I bet you got her baby this ring, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. How many children do you have? Three. That's three children. And uh, we want to pay tribute to them. You this big morning being the eldest mother here this morning. Let's give her a great big hand.
recognize the youngest mother in here, and I guess probably Caroline. <laughs> that. It's obvious we got both specters that way. All right, we want to recognize her this morning. Let's give her a minute. We hope and pray that you will you will plant these flat plants, take them home, plant them, and let them be a reminder of the love and the sacrifices that you make every time you look at them. Remember the things that, you, that you've done as a mother for your children to be where they are today. And let and, and, and also it's also a reflection of who you are as a mother. And God saying to you this, you know, today, that, that the love that you gave them is the love of God. And we're so thankful <coughs> that the love of God will shine through. I know the phone's just going crazy this morning. <laughs> but the love of God is shown. And you know, and, and it says, and so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son. And wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Jesus was brought into this world as a baby. His mother wrapped him in swaddling clothes and loved him as only a mother could. When she saw him hanging on the cross, she looked through the eyes of a mother and she saw her son not only the savior of the world but her son on that cross oh what pain she must have felt oh what anguish she must have endured but only a mother could have looked at him saw the love was still there the same as it was the first time she looked into his eyes. She remembered that day spoken of in Luke chapter 2, the day that Jesus was born. And she saw him hanging on the cross. And she only she could say, this is my son. This is my son that I brought into this world through the Father. And to know that that was a mother is a great example of the love that you have and the love that God put in you. And
and to know that in that moment when she looked at him, she saw him. We too, with the moment we look at Jesus Christ and Him crucified, we fall at His feet and we worship Him and we love Him with all that we are and all that we ever will be. And we know the love of the Father at that moment when He comes into our hearts, when He comes and floods into our soul, when we accept Him as our Savior, He floods into our soul. And that same love that you experienced when you looked into that child's, into that child's eyes, that same love is reflected into our hearts. God fills our souls with love for the very first time. That's the love of the Father. That's the love of the Father. That's how much He loves you. That's what He's done for you. Those are the sacrifices that He made for you. And we're so thankful that our Father has done all those things for you and I. And we're so, so thankful to you mothers this morning. And I hope that in some way that this expression of the flower and, and, and this tribute to you and this special day set aside just for you. We hope and pray that you understand just what you mean to each and every one of us. Just what you mean to us all. And I want us to go ahead and say this. You don't have to have given birth to a baby to love a child. Amen? Amen. You don't have to. I know a lot of women, men as well, who have adopted children, never gave birth, but was more of a mother, more of a father than anyone ever could be. Amen. And we pay special tribute to you as well. And we're so thankful for people just like you. Because the love of God is in your heart, you just let it show to your children. Let us all go to the Lord's prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this day. Lord, we pay special tribute for, to these great women. Father, there are many women that aren't here today. One in particular stands out with me, Father, as I begin to pray. That one's Miss Shuri McCarthy, who's just recently